Greetings, my friends of Stationeers. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 7 of Europa, which originally streamed live on Twitch. I'll briefly summarize last stream. So we started off to set up a tiny little shelter where I would be able to breathe, which is a little tricky because it's negative 144 or something on, uh, on Europa. But it's mostly oxygen, which uh, definitely helps out. And then we went on a hunt for power. And that was brutal because my ore scanner wasn't really working and the game wasn't really rendering terrain all that well. So I have made a whole lot of tweaks to my game settings, lowering the quality in lieu of hopefully um, having higher functionality. But then eventually we did get coal, we got steel, we got some other uh, hybrid elements, and we have set up the little shelter that you see here. So let me take you for a little uh, tour. We built uh, all of the printers that we're going to want initially. Some locker storage, lights, a weather station, which predicts storms down to the second, which is kind of nice. Or you can just stare at the light. Green is good. Uh, a tiny little oxygen and water station for topping up our water and food. Uh, very crumbly built by the way, but uh, it works. And then the last project, that, oh, well, a little bit of uh, psychotic levels of heating, basically piping in the heat of furnaces through radiators. It uh, nearly cooked myself. I survived, but uh, probably not a very wise project. Although I have no regrets. And then the last thing we did was plant a tomato, which uh, has not yet harvested or yielded but it will soon. Um, because I don't have, or I'm not allowing for any IC code, uh, most farming is going to be fairly manual, but that's okay, because we don't need a ton of food to survive. And yeah, that about wraps up what is up with our little shelter. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be polling you all about projects to work on. So for all of you wonderful early birds here in just a few first minutes, Here's the poll. We've got work on expanding the farm. Right now I'm just planting a tomato. I could add refrigeration. So one thing to note is when you harvest from your farm, food will rot very, very quickly. And because of the quick food rot, uh, refrigeration sometimes is nice to have so that the food just doesn't become bio waste. We could make, uh, what's it called? Um, composting in order to use the bio waste as fertilizer, uh, build food processing. So if I harvest this tomato, it will just be a raw tomato, but we can make it last a lot longer by canning it into like tomato soup. And we can do that with the other foods. I could our add power generation through additional wind, expanding our wind farm. There's two types of wind farms that we could build. Uh, so I can show you there's the upright turbine here. And then if I print, if I manufacture what is called the electronics printer mod, which would require me to have solder, constantin, and electrum and steel, I could make a larger wind turbine and I'll show you that here. The smaller wind turbine, to be fair, is better suited for low wind scenarios like the one I'm in, but the large wind turbine, uh, which requires copper, steel, electrum, is big, very big. Alternatively, I could add solar power uh, nothing wrong with adding solar power. I, I sort of didn't want to add solar power initially because um, of the low solar yield, but it would help to supplement our batteries, so it wouldn't be a terrible project to undertake. I You could vote on number six, which is just to improve a built system. So do you think the water filtration sucks and I should improve it? Or do you think the heating sucks and I should improve it? So on and so forth. Number seven is a little morose. Um... A little morbid. Prepare for a possible death. So on stationary difficulty when you die, oh look at that beautiful mountain not loading. Uh, you'll spawn outside naked. So in order to prepare for a possible death, what you're probably going to want is a respawn point so that you can control where you respawn, i.e. spawning inside the base, and then building a spare set of suit, tools, etc. Basically having two of everything that is necessary 
The idea being... Oh, yes. I got there just in time. I'll speak about this in a second. The idea being that um, I would just have enough to get back to wherever I died to recover my stuff, unless I died through an epic explosion. And if that was the case, yeah, there's nothing left to recover. And then number eight, which would be viewer suggestions. And if you vote on number eight, I open up the inbox for viewer suggestions and you can just suggest a project. So let me know what you think I should do. I am happy to take on uh, really any projects that you have. Right now what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that my batteries are nice and topped up. So, speaking about the um, why I was happy for the tomatoes, there is a brief period right before it starts bearing fruit, which is the seed bearing phase. And I happened to check the tomato plant during its seed bearing phase, so I got two seeds off of this plant. Um, that's that's why I was like, yay, I got it. So that's that's good. Uh, let me top up while I'm standing here my oxygen tank. It's rather low. Now, I don't believe that there's any non-oxygen in my air tank. Let me double check, though. Yep, it's pure oxygen. So, stick it in, take it out, and boom. Nice and topped up. Is there more to plant than just tomatoes? There are. Oh, so here is a full-yield tomato plant. And I replanted one of the three tomatoes I harvested. These tomatoes will decay in five hours. Um, while you guys finish up that vote there, I want to speak a little bit about uh, food decay. Here, I'll put the tomatoes there. Or actually, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'll put them there. Maybe maybe in the, sometime in the next five hours we'll actually do refrigeration. So one of the best ways, oddly, because I usually hate the Stationpedia, which is the built-in wiki, if you go to the guides here and then go to food decay, it actually tells you a great deal about food decay. So uh, the ideal temperature for food decay is zero Kelvin or negative 272 Celsius. Super, super, super cold. And then each food type has its own decay properties. Tomato soup lasts a lot longer than, than a tomato, for instance. Uh, the pressure matters as well. If it drops below one atmosphere or 100 kPa, decay happens exponentially more quickly. And then it also depends on the atmosphere. So nitrogen, for instance, is the best gas to keep food in. So there are two types of refrigerators, and I'm speaking about this just because it's something I'm probably going to want to figure out later on. Uh, there's two types of refrigerators. And there is the large and small one. And they do very different things, oddly, if I could find it. So the large refrigerator... Um, you just add wherever it is. You just add power, and it's a bit of a power hog. But it kind of, um... Where is it? It kind of just, uh... Keeps your food cold, but it's not really ideal. And then there's a small refrigerator, which you control the gas that gets pumped into the fridge. And that fridge uh, can be set up to be more meta or ideal. But I might be on an advanced printer I don't have access to. All right, looks like we're going to be adding power gen generation through wind. So what sort of wind generators should I make? Upright, small, or large requires more mining and furnace. There's actually technically a third option, um, but it's not one that I'm going to go over. The third option would be um, the, like, turbine ones, but they're not really wind. Turbine generators. Here, let me see if I can't look it up here for your benefit. Turbine generators are generators that uses gas differentials, and they're a bit more complex than I want to jump into. Oh, good, and it tells me nothing about this. Cool. Uh, let me try the wiki. Because, you know, famously I hate the, uh, the in-game stationpedia is kind of awful. So turbine generator can generate some power from pressure differences. It, it To function, it needs a higher pressure on one side and a lower pressure on the other. The maximum generated 
uh, power per turbine is only 90 watts. Basically, build a wind tunnel, have two pressures on either side, the turbine goes. Um, very, very straightforward. Oh, what is in my hand? I grabbed some soybeans. So, you, I know you asked about um, other crops. So, I have rice, fern, corn, wheat, pumpkin, potato, tomato, soybean. But then there's other ones that I don't yet have access to because you have to buy the seeds. They're sort of like um, specialty crops in a way. And it looks like large turbines are winning. Uh, I'll give you one more minute to vote on that. The other question I'm going to have is, and this will follow up this one, and this will be quick, is am I going to be using the ore scanner or not? So let me make sure that this ore scanner works because it was working for me earlier today. Yep, it's working. This is what it's supposed to look like when it works. And it just so happens to work today. So I can either use the ore scanner, which I have the technological prowess to use, or the glasses, which I printed myself through dev mode. If you find that the glasses is a little too, you know, whatever, you, you can vote. I don't have a dog in this fight. Okie dokie. Large turbines. So, how should I scan for ore? The ore scanner or the scanner glasses? And I'll just give you two and a half minutes to vote on this, and I'm going to get ready to go outside. Basically, what that means is making sure that my the things that I don't need on are off, Another thing that I might want, actually, is uh, filters, like a better carbon filter for my suit. Because the carbon dioxide filters, as you can see, are at 5%, and then I'm down to 1. A medium filter, I can't afford, so we're just going to do the basic filter, still. And I'll print one more basic filter up. It only costs iron, it's not that big of a deal. The large filters last an incredibly long time, so... When you have to worry about filters, you can just do, like, large filters. It's no problem. But I've already gone through one filter here. Where was that locker? So I have Constantin... Yeah, I could do... I'm not going to really be able to change the settings of the the scenario at a moment's notice, so that's not um, not all that realistic. So I, I, as much as I agree that it would be nice to um, change some of the settings so that it doesn't feel so cheating or whatever, um, save game editing is not something I'm about to do without... Uh, about some prep. Right. Something else I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Oh, I think. Yep. I got the seeds in time. I'm going to put uh, my food or my seeds in that locker. Eventually, I'll have a refrigerator, I assume. But for now... This is my seed bank. Oh, thanks for the resub. And Susie, thank you for the sub. Cheers. All right, scanner glasses it is. Oh, my egg carton looks like it's full of uh, rotted stuff. Delicious. I hate chickens in this game. You can get chickens, but they're like dumb and they're horrible. Um, so I, I never do. 
The reason I put that table down there is I figured eventually I might uh, set up microwave. Where I have to wrench it to the table. You don't microwave tomatoes, but like you do microwave other things, so we might cook at some point. All right, let's get out there and get mining. So for me to, I guess it helps to know what I'm mining for. For me to get the larger wind, I need Electrum, Constantin, Solder, uh, and Steel. So let me work on the Steel first. I have plenty of lead for the solder. Uh, for, for steel, I'm gonna want iron and coal. So uh, that is what I'm going to grab now. And then I'll start working on the other materials. Just doing little organization. All right, storm clock says no storms. Top up my water. And top up my food. I'm just going to eat one of my tomatoes. So it is official. I have fed myself from the fruits of my own labor. And let's get going. Current priority. Make steel for electrical printer mod. So the electrical printer mod will open up more recipes for me to be able to manufacture... There are mods for every bench. So the auto lathe and the pipe bender also has mods to, oh, right when I get outside, it yields fruit. That's just the way it goes sometimes. Also, my belt, my mining belt is actually kind of full at the moment. That's okay. And I have to mine lefty. All right, so here's some iron. And we'll go with like 150 of it. And that way I can make a batch of 200 steel. Steel is something that you probably use the most of in, uh, in stationers. So it wouldn't even be all that outlandish to make like a batch of a thousand, but I just don't want to be mining all day. The, the other reason why I'm constantly turning off the glasses is they have significant power draw, and I haven't made uh, bigger batteries for them. But also, I find that it's actually kind of challenging to even see what's going on when you leave them on, because the opacity of the overlay is a little rough, and it's, um, it's a bit of an eye strain to even figure out what's happening if you just leave them on. Can you suggest an idea? Um, well, not at the moment. When the uh, the next project is proposed, and if people vote on viewer suggestions, or if I just say, hey, we're gonna do a viewer suggestion right now, uh, then I'll open up the inbox for, for suggestions like that. All right, so that's the iron we need. I'm gonna be sticking this in, oops. That's not what I meant to do. I'm gonna be sticking this in my uh, backpack. And we'll go for coal. Ooh, sun's up. Howdy, men. Welcome to your first stream. Uh-oh. Uh, I see a yellow light on my weather station. Means that a uh, storm's brewing. But I left the storm LED off, so I don't know how much time I have. So let me cycle quick. It's too too small to be called a project, sure. I'll, despite the fact that I have the no back seating, you asked nicely, so go for it. All right, how much time do I have before the storm comes in? Seven hundred thirty seconds. Shouldn't be a problem. 
All right, I am going to be leaving the grow light off because I'm not going to be farming at the moment. I don't really have a need for the food at the moment. Um, maybe at some point you guys are going to want to see some some cool cooking, but that point is not now. And Old Man Mino, thank you for the resub. Can I make an outside storage for ices? Uh, I could. Alternatively, the easiest way to store ices, in my opinion, is just to leave them in a belt. Um, mining belts. You can print up mining belts on a tool bench. A tool printer. And uh, they're very, very, very cheap. And they won't melt in a belt, even if the belt is stored in a, um, a hot environment. So that is absolute. And advanced mining belts even have more storage, but... Um, I don't think I have the resources for one of them. But that would be the the meta way. Now I had 31 coal back in the base, but we'll leave that coal alone as like emergency power reserves, just in case. What can you make from potatoes? Uh, you can make french fries and baked potatoes. What else? Probably some other things as well. Too bad I can't use the ice grinder to make vodka. You know, there actually would be like a reason to make alcohol, right? Like as medical supplies. Because currently the way to make medicine is like, what, cobalt, ferns, and silver? Which, uh, that sounds like some sort of Gwyneth Paltrow hokey pokey nonsense. So, yeah, I would much prefer, um... I would much prefer alcohol and maybe antibiotics, mold cultures, who knows. All right, let's uh, vent this out so I can smelt on it. What specifications do I have for my PC? Uh, Rodamont.com has a full list, if you're, if you're wondering. I'm going to do six vols and three oxide. I should probably at some point tilt this furnace, but there it goes. All the coal. And iron. Why didn't I leave the LED on? I have no idea. I could have easily just left it on, because of course, during a storm, I'm gonna get so much power, it's not an issue. But whatever, I forgot. Okay. Thank you for the steel. So that's one. Uh, I did need Electrum. Let me go check up on the timing. So that I'm informed. Nine minutes left, you're timing it? Cool. I also wanted to check uh, my... I wanted to check... Um, the resources I have for Electrum, because I know I mined some up already. So we already have 190 grams of Electrum. I actually already had Steel, too. Uh, so next up for the mod would be Constantin and Solder. So for Solder, I just need a little bit more iron. I have plenty of lead. And let's leave this on. In fact, it might even be worth uh, making that into a giant LED so I can read it from a distance. So lead, for all of you that uh, haven't played before, haven't played very much, or, uh, sorry, solder, is iron and lead in equal parts, and it is really low temp. I have a lot of lead back at the base. Uh, let me get just like a hundred iron, and that's probably gonna make, that will make 200 lead, and that's, sh or solder, rather. Keep calling it lead. That should be fine. And then the last is Constantin, which is copper and nickel. 
Oh, I've already been here. Uh, I believe Constantin is copper nickel equal parts, so there is a nickel vein uh, pretty close to the base, and that's going to be what I hit for uh, for Constantin. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that prior pre-storm, but I'll try. I guess uh, I guess it's sort of my thing to be dancing on a knife edge, right? So there we go. I got all the ores for that. Uh, I don't believe I really have any nickel in the base. I also need copper, though. I think there's copper in the mountain that I'm next to. Your glasses, please work. And then I used the last of my oxides uh, making the steel, so... Grab a little bit of that. There's cobalt. Water. Nickel. There it is. Oh! My belt's full. The water that I have, I could put back into my ice crusher and uh, turn it into liquid. And heat it up. Especially during the storm where I'm generating uh, ridiculous amounts of power. That's a really good time to use water heaters, pipe heaters, space heaters, etc. So now I'm looking for about a hundred nickel. And that will give me the ingredients for Constantin. So are there any projects that any of you are uh, particularly excited about? I think what I'm going to do after I finish this project of building some upright turbines is I will, uh, the next project will just be something that you all propose. It won't be something that I've pre-typed up. So in a minute here, I'll open up the viewer suggestions and leave it up to you. Okay, I already have the nickel that I need. So let's get the copper. Water won't freeze into a solid? No, it won't. There's no such thing as solid water. Outside of the ores you mine, and I guess technically Europa's surface, but it's not water, it's just surface. Alright, 2.48 is the time I have on the clock. The only thing... Hey, Joja Kim, thank you for the resub. The only um, tier 1 alloy that I have not yet made after I finish the Constantin and Solder Batch will be Invar, and that is uh, iron and nickel. So that nickel vein that I found before is going to be useful in order to make Invar. And then once you have Steel Electrum, Invar, Constantin, and Solder, it opens up a lot of options as to what you can manufacture. The tier 2 uh, alloys require an advanced furnace, which is not allowed in the series, so the only way for me to get um, tier 2 alloys in the series would be for me to trade for them. Which, uh, at some point I can make a trade platform. Trade platforms are probably best made after I have a pretty robust power grid, though, because they don't do very much most of the time, and they do draw a lot of power when they're on. So... It's a project for when I have more kit batteries so that I can uh, not brown myself out. I think my alerts are super delayed. All right, so we're almost mined up all the resources that I need. Very close. 44, 48, and done. I guess I'll pick up the remainder by hand.
How much time do I have? 100 seconds? Uh... I'll try to make, uh, the solder. Come on. I don't know if I'll have enough time, but I like the challenge. Am I gonna terraform this moon? Well, it doesn't really have Terra. I could hydroform it. Because, <laughs> you know, it's it's ice. Eh, never mind, it was a bad joke. Uh, so lead, huh? Roink. Roink. Oh, I picked up a two stack of lead. That's annoying. No, give me all the lead. There we go. Uh, I have 56 seconds. No problem. Definitely not going to be able to make the Constantine, but maybe I'll be able to get the lead. Or the, uh, the solder. Hey, hydroforming. Or hydrocrafting. That's a real thing. Don't be knocking my waterbenders out there. I have a Yoda Aang emote for a reason. So, for solder, the pressure needs to be... The temperature needs to be low. Um, 277C is the maximum. What is this? 580K? Uh, 580K to C. At some point, maybe I want, like, a translator. So it needs to actually be a little bit colder. Uh, so one of the ways I could do it is just pull in some cold air from outside. Come on. Come on. Power, no. Woo, storm time. Uh, so what? 277C2K is 550K, Calvin. So as soon as it hits 550, I'll be good. I might want to go inside. But I'm stubborn. There we go, there we go, there we go. No! Uh, so... I may have miscalculated the winds here. I made solder. I have no idea where the solder went. <laughs> I didn't grab it in time. Alright, come on Mark Watney, let's go inside. Solder made! The checkpoint hasn't been cleared, but solder made! Okay, uh, well, the... Oh, that is really cool looking. The storm warning, or the beacon, rather. Uh, I'm gonna turn on the pipe heater here. Because I am going to crush some water. Because I'm generating tons and tons of power. And then I will... Vacuum pump it up. And I'll just have to make a new batch of lead soon. So I just need to make sure that um, this pipe network doesn't exceed about, let's say, 9 MPA. Or the, uh, the, the canister bursts. So the reason I'm doing this is because um, I was rather low on water, but I was holding out for when I was generating a lot more power because to heat up the ice so that it can produce water, uh, it requires a lot of power from the pipe heater. So wait for a storm, and it's a perfect opportunity to do that. So the water in this water bottle here will not get refilled. As you can hear, it's not gurgling because um, it's too cold. Also to note that that means that this water would be too cold. So if I, um, if I wanted to farm a large amount, what I would need to do is I would need to have some sort of insulated standing tank not connected to this crusher so that the water for the farm is temperate and separate from the water from the ice crusher 
Otherwise, uh, I stand to kill off my my uh, my plants. Don't want that. Here, Yoda. Here you go. All right. So while I'm stuck in here and I've destroyed my solder, uh, I'm gonna open up the viewer submitted suggestion box for next project. So there we go. Make large wind turbines and suggest park projects. So I have 50 lead. I have some lead already, but yeah, that was kind of dumb. Maybe I'll go with a half batch of solder. Solder's not something you use a ton of. So I'll just get uh I'll get a half batch going. What's funny about this is um, the air that's in this pipe network now is very cold. So this was once my heating system, could now be easily my air conditioning system. And this water is now temperate. I mean, just over freezing, but ice cold, very refreshing. And let's get back out there and actually make solder. Maybe I can find it, I highly doubt. Highly doubt, but maybe I can find it. Some mistakes might have been made. Solder, where are you? Yeah, I'm never going to be able to find it. <laughs> That was funny. The storm does destroy things. Um, not all items, obviously, because, you know, my base is still here. But uh, the lander, for one, and any loose items strewn about would be destroyed as well. So this lander here is destroyed next storm, my guess would be, because it's at, like, 20%. So if I want the crates, uh, I would need to lock those crates down. Actually, that would be a good project if uh, if any of you care. I'm not saying it needs to be done, but if I want the to keep the crates for future storage, um, that's something I could do. Is to build um, uh, crate mounts and then take the crates off and uh, lock them down. I don't really want to hit the giant iron node that's next to the base because it will deform the terrain in kind of an unwanted way. So I'm going to go over this way. So I'm only really looking for 50 iron. We'll make another batch. It's actually possible, not all that plausible, possible the um, the furnace is still roughly the correct temperature for me to make a batch. It needs to be at least 77 Celsius. So I don't know how cold the storm chilled the furnace that I was using. Teaches me the lesson to not bother smelting in a storm. All right, I've got eight submitted projects, so I'll pull them in a second. Yeah, actually this might be okay, temperature wise. I probably should have checked first before tossing materials in, but you know, whatever. Yeah, it's warm enough. 
Thank you for the solder. There we go. All right, the last thing I need to do is Constantine. That didn't need to be... Oh, man. I left all this stuff on. Okay. This uh, nitrogen tank is 6740 KPA. Again, it doesn't... It should not exceed uh, 10k. So I got to be mindful of that. Uh, Dale, man. Thank you for gifting out a sub. So now that I have this solder, let's... Um, Everything should probably go into my electric printer. So, let's get that set up. That's where we're going to be modding. Pretty healthy amount of steel now. Almost 400 grams of it. I like to think of grams in this game as like... Decigrams or kilograms or something. Because, uh... Units of measurement in this game doesn't make much sense. So, Constantine. Uh, Constantine needs to be... Uh, quite hot. And it's copper-nickel mix. So this is my next batch. There we go. Wasn't there a special metal in the large locker? Uh, nope. My metals were in here. All of my ingots are in the printer. What I do need to do is swap this battery, though. My glasses battery wore down. All right. <clears throat> Let's go get some constant tan. Invar is the really picky one where you have to have a very specific range of um, of pressure between 18 and 20 MPA. Constantin needs to be at least 20 MPA, which is pretty high pressure. But in order to obtain that high pressure, you can just stick in a whole lot of fuel and that will work just fine too. So that's what I'm going to do. It's been a while since I've done the chemistry for this, so, like, it could be wrong. Oh, I should probably vacuum this out, too, first, because it's, um, it's still got some... Well, yeah, let's vacuum it out first, because it, it, the, the gases that are left in there are probably uncombustible. Now, I was asked the question, the atmosphere is all oxygen, why am I adding oxide to the furnace? And the reason is, it's really hard to measure... The fuel burns clean in a 2 to 1 ratio. But using a volume pump to pull in your oxygen to measure to grams of ice is so complicated to get right that it's just easy. It's just so much easier to just mine it and throw it in. So there was that question of like, why aren't I using the oxygen in the atmosphere and the uh, the volatile gases? The way to do that actually wouldn't would probably be. Melting the volatile gases, putting the volatile gases or the hydrogen into a tank, and having a tank of hydrogen and a tank of oxygen mix in a gas mixer at a two to one ratio, and then fed into a furnace. But the mixed gas will ignite in the pipe if it gets too warm. Warm is not that much of a problem on Europa, but if you're living on a different planet, um, that's that's um, pretty explosive. And in fact, that's why the game introduced um, the turbo pipe, uh, the turbo um, volume pipes. So previously, there was an issue when you wanted to launch rockets on like Vulcan and Venus because it's so hot that your fuel would explode in the gas lines. So they introduced um, insulated pipe piping so that the atmosphere doesn't interact with what's in the pipe as much. And then the turbo volume pumps to be able to move things really, really, really quickly so that you can fill a rocket 
and then, you know, very, very rapidly and, and not have it blow up in your face. So, hey, Techie, thank you for the gifted sub. Uh, let's see if I can't make Constantin. So this needs to be 20 KPA, and I'm at like 19 right now. So what I'm going to do is start adding the ores, which is going to increase the volume. But I probably need more fuel. Which is fine. I can also pull in air from the Atmo. But the problem with that is uh, it's very cold air, so... I probably want to stick in more ices. All right, so that's all the material that I want to melt. This needs to hit like twice as much pressure as it is. So I will put in more fuel. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna... <sighs> Should have been a little bit more careful with that. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. There we go. There's my Constantin. All right, the next thing I wanted to ask all of you is um, next priority. And I'm going to use the viewer submitted suggestions here, not my own list. So. We have a watery heating, water heating system. Uh, make better batteries. You know, ones that store more power. Um, add hydroponics. Set up a big water tank. Build a bedroom to respawn in. Secure the lander crates. Extend the base into the mountain. Or find the solder. All right. Thank you for uh, suggesting things. And uh, yeah. Let me know what you what you think I should work on next. There you go. Lovely list submitted by all of you. Oh, you know what? The pressure here is almost perfect for Invar. Um, that would be iron nickel mix. So I am going to very quickly try to get Invar because. It is by far the fussiest. So where is my nickel? A little arc, uh, little bottles. So I use the rest up. Here's my nickel. Oops. And soon I'm going to be working on more projects and less mining, unless the projects that you propose are very mining intensive. It's just, you need to get a little bit of like Invar, Constantin, Nickel, Electrum, Steel, uh, to be able to make a lot of the stuff that uh, is locked otherwise in tech. And I'm still working on the upright, or the large wind turbine. It's just, this all, surprisingly, was required for me to do first. So I have almost all the nickel that I need. I'm going for just a hundred of it.
Done. I'm glad my base is well lit, because uh, it'd be really easy to get lost out here, huh? Uh, trying to figure out where I want to get the iron. I'll actually, go back into the hole I was just in, because there's iron in here. Now, another thing that you could do to keep your furnace at the right temperature is to put it in a vacuum so it doesn't um, equalize with the ambient temperatures as quickly. Because obviously on Europa, it is cooling down very, very rapidly because Europa is very cold. So I could have like a better setup furnace. That could be a project. I could even have a furnace that uh, allows me to smelt from indoors um, safely as well. You know, if you think that's like a thing to be to care about. Mountain mining sounds fun. <laughs> Taropa, it's been a while. And Lady Stormguard, thank you for the resub. So, Invar, before I start, it requires the temperature to be between a uh, thousand, roughly a thousand to twelve hundred C. So, it needs to be hotter than this and more pressurized than this, but that's mostly because of the time it took me to get the material. So, I'm going to try to make Invar um from whatever's in the furnace now. Do my best. Largely unemployed? Yeah, you did finally catch a stream. You said you'd try. Here you are. Alright, so the minimum temperature that I need here is... 12 or 927 Celsius, so it needs to be hotter than this. So let's go ahead and make this spicier. And do six more volatiles. Three more oxides. Not enough. Let's do 10 more volatiles, five more oxides. And then I'll take a look at the result of that poll. This is just time sensitive. Oh. Too much gas. Right temperature, too much pressure. So I have the active vent trying to vent out the excess pressure so that I can make it, but I don't think it's... Yeah, maybe it hits the pressure in time. And Bear Mage, thanks for the bits. Nah, it's losing temperature too quickly. It needs to be 927. It's going to hit 927 too quick, I think. I think we'll do it. Pretty sure we'll do it. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to lower the pressure to 20 kPa. Oh no, I don't know, 927 is creeping up pretty fast. The active vent is not really the best for quick moving. There it is, Invar, boom! Huzzah! All right, I'm gonna leave um, this contents of this uh, venting the entire time. Like I'm, I'm gonna walk away, and it's gonna be vacuumed out by the time I'm done. So, taking a look at the pole here, extend the base into the mountain. 
all right that will be my next uh, my next project um got it I'm gonna do that kind of in a fun way I think if I, if I can Thank you for tuning in to Stationeers Europa, which originally streamed live on Twitch April 14th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below, but please keep in mind that I was streaming with the no backseating tag enabled, which means that I'm not really looking to be told what to do or how to do it. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you like this series, please vote for it when it comes up in the polls. If you're interested to vote in the polls, the best way to do it is to join Discord. Rodamont.com or the description of this video have a link to Discord, and on Discord, you can sign up for announcements when polls go live. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode. Stay safe out there, fellow stationers. <laughs>